Allen, this is Bob Camp Pendleton, Marine Base Hope. <laughs> telling all you leathernecks to use Pepsin because your girl won't let you squeeze her if you've got vacancies under your beezer. <laughs> Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton. That's a marine expression, meaning you can stop trying to get a six-hour pass. We were shipped out three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, you tourists. Oh. <laughs> Camp Pendleton is located 35 miles from San Diego, 110 miles from Los Angeles, and a 72-hour pass from the United States. <laughs> And Pendleton is so big, it's the only camp in the country where you can practice amphibious landings on either the Atlantic or the Pacific. I won't say this camp is spread out, but back in the interior, they just discovered two groups of Tito's partisans. One Marine here captured three Japs without ever getting off the base. And these Marines get lots of furloughs to go home. There's only... Well, that's what the man said. There's only one little hitch. All the transportation is routed through Tokyo. And... and the country around here used to be full of cattle rustlers, but they got all jobs now as poker dealers in Oceanside. And these Marines are the toughest guys I ever saw. They don't bother using a stairway. They just knock out the posts and catch the second floor as it comes down. <laughs> I shook hands with one of them, and he was very nice. He said if I made him laugh, I could have my hand back again after the show tonight. <laughs> yes, sir, these boys don't bother to comb their hair in the morning. They just stick their heads up out of the infiltration course and let the bullets take it from there. Of course, you civilians know what an infiltration course is. That's the have and have not, depending on how close you keep it to the ground. <laughs> Camp Pendleton is about 100 miles from Hollywood as the crow marches. <laughs> he was drafted, too. <laughs> this camp is situated on an old ranch, and it's really not much change, from cowhounds to chowhounds. <laughs> And this is an awfully big camp, but the guys are only kidding when they say you have to fly an airplane nonstop to get from the barracks to the front gate. <laughs> they know darn well you have to land twice to refuel. <laughs> you know what a Marine is. That's a booby trap that's on our side. <laughs> and boy, what rugged guys these Marines are. Today, one of them pulled off his shirt, handed me a tattoo needle, and said, Okay, make with the autograph, boy. <laughs> I, sh I shook hands with one Marine, and when I got my hand back, there were only four fingers. I said, What's the ID? He said, Keep moving, bud. There's a 20% withholding tax. <laughs> and these Marines stick together and have a wonderful esprit de corps. Esprit de corps. That's a French expression meaning, See if she's got a sister. <laughs> So during the time they stay in boot camp, these Marines have to forget completely about girls. In fact, at midnight, the sergeant goes through the barracks with a flashlight, waking up anybody that has a smile on his face. <laughs> and these Marines here are really tough. You should see the hair on their chest. There's one fellow here with so much hair in his chest... His captain insists on him getting into crap games. He's the only one in camp that can roll the dice and sweep the barracks at the same time. <laughs> and listen, all this talk about sailors and marines not getting along isn't true. Why, when I arrived in camp, they showed me a sailor who hadn't stole... Uh, who was, I'll be back. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm here. Why, when I arrived in camp, they showed me a sailor who had stolen a marine's girl two weeks ago... And the sailor was just sitting there in a chair, smiling. Honestly, it was the best embalming job I ever saw. <laughs> thanks, thanks 
all you Marines, folks, if you read up on the pioneers, you'll find they were plenty tough. But 5% were tougher than all the rest. These were the leaders, rugged characters, human bulldozers, the first to tackle the wilderness and the first to clear the ground on which America was built. They knew that life and freedom were the same thing and you had to fight to get it and keep it. So they never learned to lose a fight. And whenever they finished one, they spit on their hands and say, well, who's next? Yes, sir, if you'd have put the right uniform on those guys, you'd have sworn they were U.S. Marines. The same old bloodline is on Iwo Jima tonight. Iwo Jima translated as Rock Island, but every Marine knows it really spells hell. It's the front porch of Tokyo with a death's head on the welcome mat. It's volcanic dust that bites the lungs, sulfur smoke that burns them, hot lava and hot lead. The world's toughest fight. By comparison to Iwo, two days in the real hell would be like a weekend at Lake Arrowhead. You know, it took Betsy Ross just a bit of cotton bunting to make the first American flag. And, mister, let's never forget what has taken the Marine Corps to hoist that bit of bunting on Iwo Jima. Good night, fellas. (laughs) 